Hebrews chapter 12 verses 15 to 17. See to it that no one fails to obtain the grace of God, that no root of bitterness springs up and causes trouble, and by it many become defiled, that no one is sexually immoral or unholy like Esau, who sold his birthright for a single meal. For you know that afterward when he desired to inherit the blessing, he was rejected, for he found no chance to repent, though he sought it with tears. See that none of you fail to obtain the grace of God, the favor of God, by being sexually immoral or unholy like Esau. How? One version says profane, which means no reverence for sacred things. Why was it that Esau was considered to be profane and unholy and found himself in a place where he could not obtain the grace of God? That's because Esau had no self-control. That's because Esau treated his purpose and his call as unimportant. Imagine, he went out to the fields and he hunted and got back in exhausted and hungry. And we know how it is. When you're tired and hungry, it's not a good combination. And when you're really hungry, I mean, it, it, it just messes with your mind. At that time, you really just want to get something to eat and then to relax. And so he comes home and he feels like he is starving. And the worst thing that could happen was to come home and smell the good cooking of his brother. Now, when you're hungry, the scent of good food is, mm, it is just so attractive. And it can also be distressing if it is not your food. And so he asks his brother for some food. And the brother decided, hmm, I'm going to use this opportunity. And so he says, well, something for something. Give me your birthright and I will give you the food. Sell me your birthright for some of the food. Now it sounds like a rather unequal exchange. But though it might be unequal... At the end of the day, there are two adults bargaining. Here is the thing. Esau looks at it and says, well, I'm going to, I'm going to die anyhow. So if I die, the birthright is of no use to me. So it's better to sell it. Sell it and get some food and live. Like really, Esau, you are going to die you are that hungry that you're literally going to die oh wow in other words you cannot wait another 30 minutes or an hour to get some food prepared if you do not get this food now you're going to die how real is that sounds rather unrealistic to me but what it means is that Esau had no self-control. Esau had to have immediate gratification. Esau did not know the value of delayed gratification. He had to get what he wanted right now. He had to satisfy his desires in the moment, irrespective of the cost. And the question we must ask ourselves, are we running the risk of falling into the same trap like Esau? Are we prepared to delay gratification so that we value the things that we ought to value, so that we do the right things, though at the moment it may feel like suffering, but for the greater good, in the long term, we are in the right place 
we have the right things, we have the right blessings? Or are we reckless and have a casual attitude towards our faith, towards our morality, towards our ministry? Is it that our lives are dictated by our feelings or are they dictated by our convictions? Do you want the grace of God? Do you want the favor of God? Well, if you do, it is important to ensure that our lives are governed by our convictions rather than our feelings. Because feelings are very temporal, very fickle, and they will lead us astray. God bless you. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And for more, join us at 9 a.m. on Sunday mornings at 10 Union Square, Crossroads. If you can't be there in person, join us virtually via Facebook Live.